fight for our freedom will take hard work. To the young people who are watching, it is... I love you guys. To the young people who are watching, it is okay to feel sad and disappointed. But please know it's going to be okay. On the campaign, I would often say, when we fight, we win. But here's the thing, here's the thing. Sometimes the fight takes a while. That doesn't mean we won't win. That doesn't mean we won't win. The important thing is don't ever give up. Don't ever give up. Don't ever stop trying to make the world a better place. You have power. You have power. And don't you ever listen when anyone tells you something is impossible because it has never been done before. You have the capacity to do extraordinary good in the world. And so to everyone who is watching, do not despair. This is not a time to throw up our hands. This is a time to roll up our sleeves. I know many people feel like we are entering a dark time. But for the benefit of us all, I hope that is not the case. But here's the thing, America, if it is, let us fill the sky with the light of a brilliant, brilliant billion of stars. The light, the light of optimism, of faith, of truth, and service. Hate you. <laughs> and may that work guide us, even in the face of setbacks, toward the extraordinary promise of the United States of America. My heart is full today, full of gratitude for the trust you have placed in me full of love for our country, and full of resolve. The outcome of this election is not what we wanted, not what we fought for, not what we voted for, but hear me when I say, hear me when I say, the light of America's promise will always burn bright. as long as we never give up and as long as we keep fighting. Every one of us, no matter who we are or where we start out, has certain fundamental rights and freedoms that must be respected and upheld. Now I know folks are feeling and experiencing a range of emotions right now. I get it. <laughs> but we must accept the results of this election. Earlier today, I spoke with President-elect Trump and congratulated him on his victory. I also told him that we will help him and his team with their transition, and that we will engage in a peaceful transfer of power. A fundamental principle of American democracy is that when we lose an election, we accept the results. That principle, as much as any other, distinguishes democracy from monarchy or tyranny. And anyone who seeks the public trust must honor it. At the same time, in our nation, we owe loyalty not to a president or a party, but to the Constitution of the United States.
and loyalty to our conscience and to our God. My allegiance to all three is why I am here to say, while I concede this election, I do not concede the fight that fueled this campaign. The fight for freedom, for opportunity, for fairness, and the dignity of all people. I will never give up the fight for a future where Americans can pursue their dreams, ambitions, and aspirations, where the women of America have the freedom to make decisions about their own body and not have their government telling them what to do. And America, we will never give up the fight for our democracy, for the rule of law, for equal justice, and we will continue to wage this fight in the voting booth, in the courts, and in the public square. And we will also wage it in quieter ways, in how we live our lives, by treating one another with kindness and respect, by looking in the face of a stranger and seeing a neighbor, by always using our strength to lift people up, to fight for the dignity that all people deserve. The fight for our freedom will take hard work, but like I always say, we like hard work. Hard work is good work. Hard work can be joyful work. And the fight for our country is always worth it. It is always worth it. I thank you all. May God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. I thank you all. Well, the Vice President's speech was not only uh, a moment in leadership, but also an example of the brightness of our country. I believe that today she really put out a blueprint for America to turn its page. Uh, the American people have spoken. They have exercised their right to vote, which is something that she's been fighting for. And this peaceful transference of power represents what I believe most Americans want, and that is a country that's united and a country that can move on to our next chapter. But the positive here um, is that we have now re-energized another generation of activists. The hard thing for us is looking at policies. There are policy areas that we have challenges with, and we believe that Vice President Kamala Harris was the one that would align with many of our values. However, the new president, we will have to see what will happen. We've seen that presidency before. There are concerns about health care for us as an African-American mother, as an African-American woman, education, economic development. These policies don't always align. So we'll see what's going to happen, but we know that advocates are going to continue to fight. It feels disheartening, um, and it feels very divisive. Literally half of our country voted for one way of life and the other half voted for another. Uh, it does feel, um, it feels like we've in some ways uh, almost for a temporary defeat, but not long term. We believe that this is going to be a phoenix rise and that there's going to be a, a turn in this process and that many people who were not engaged before now understand their actual vote does count. They're going to show up again. I think 2026 to 2028 will be a different story. I thought she did a phenomenal job. She ended the campaign with optimism and hope, which is what people needed. And so I just hope she knows just how proud of her we all are.
I'm saddened by the results. I think the vice president ran, you know, a phenomenal campaign. She tried to unite so many different people and bring people together. Um, so it's, it's sad that we just did not cross that finish line. Uh, but I think despite people being sad today, I think people are going to be uh, fired up for tomorrow. That's basically what the call of action was, is that we accept the, the results of the election, but we have to end this with optimism and hope. And so I think people are going to carry that optimism and hope forward. Uh, I, I don't think uh, putting blame on any body or group is going to help at this particular point. I think, you know, we have elections and sometimes they swing one way, sometimes they swing uh, the other, but that, that's how democracy works.